up? Do you start seeing one more? Or? Well, I had a lot of other videos, but this one was so remarkable, I really felt I needed to share it because it looks right in the camera. And it was clear and it was color. All the others were football. Yeah. Uh, what is it about this where you say you've noticed it since it was a baby? Yes, yes. Uh, some of the poor quality video I have, the camera was set up here, and we noticed it coming up and drinking out of a fountain. And at first I thought it was a raccoon or something, but then I saw the size of its paw and having just had a kitten, uh, I realized it had to be the cat. Okay. Now you've mentioned to some people about, you know, it coming through here and they've kind of said, capture it, take it. So what's been your reaction to that? Well, that's a bad perspective to take because there are neighbors, just like my neighbors here, my neighbors up the way. They live here, we live here. Leave them alone. They're not going to harm anything. And you shouldn't let small animals out when you live near a canyon like this anyhow. Okay. So you kind of sound like uh, one of the, uh, the fish and wildlife experts on what <laughs> they would say about things. So your deal is, like, you like the idea of living harmoniously with, you know, the, the creatures down the canyon. Absolutely. I moved into their neighborhood in 1998. They didn't move into mine. And the fact that this bobcat is now coming around and apparently thinks this is part of its territory, it makes us very happy because we don't see rodents anymore, Jason. Um, and is it, I mean, in any sense, is it fearful if you come out here and it's here? Or do you think it would just probably scamper off? Or? It would scamper off. I'm quite sure. It's very timid. Uh, the one video that I shared with you, you can see that uh, all I did was put up my shades because I remember what time it was that day. And uh, all I did was open up my shades and it scuttled down into the camera. Okay. Uh, so I, I, I get the feeling, the sense that you, you kind of enjoyed the fact that they're around. I love the fact that they're around. Um, and just explain a little bit more why why that is that you enjoy having them. Well, they're, they're part of our biosphere, right? We're a part of it, they're part of it. Uh, I Again, we moved into their turf, they didn't move into ours. There's a responsibility, I think, to coexist with them and work things out, especially when they keep your yard free of rats. Rats are vectors <laughs> for disease, need I say. Okay. Um, you know, uh, and, and the videos that you shared, the, the, the one that was up close, that was just a couple days ago. That was yesterday morning. Yesterday, yes, and the other one walking across there, that was from a couple weeks ago. Uh, no, I shared, uh, the one I just shared with you, of it walking across the wall, that was taken at the same time as the one where it turns and faces okay. the camera, just about two or three minutes later. Okay. Wow. So you're getting your own, your own little uh, wildlife films uh, put together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, matter of fact, one of the, uh, your viewers suggested on the Facebook that I move a camera to cover the water hole itself, which I was just thinking about doing this morning. Okay, to see if we get anything. Yes, like, exactly. Okay, very nice. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Would you do it? Okay. Uh, well, here comes one of the raptors.